This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. You have to try. No. You have to go. This just has to be one of the scariest series on TV right now, Resurrection. <laughs> I don't understand it, man. I don't even know why people play with that that the whole theory of folks coming back from the dead, but I guess you got to eat. So Omar Epps. <laughs> wow. Damn, Sway. Omar Epps. What's uh, up? Man, I, man, oh, what up, baby? What's up, brother? How you been, man? You know, I'm I'm good, man. Fortunate, you know. My babies are good, so I'm good. You're doing all right? Yeah, man. Yo, oh, first of all, man, it looked like you drinking from the fountain of youth, right man. Up. When you this resurrection oh. thing, you might be drinking what are you drinking? Baby's blood? <laughs> <laughs> the skin is smooth, everything looking I'm, great. I'm man. taking care of myself, man. You yeah. know, we get we I'm forty one, so yeah. you know, you training. Look, looking awesome. Vitamins. Man. Vitamins. You know, you gotta keep that left hook mean. You, you know? gotta keep it lean, lean, mean, man. Um, <laughs> congratulations, man, because you always find a way the thing i like about you omar is that they can't pigeonhole you mm. like yeah. you've been in some of the greatest like urban movies of all time when you think of juice and you think of in too deep man people don't even talk about that movie mm. uh uh with ll cool j play god play god mm. and <laughs> to me that was one of the my god. favorite roles that ll ever like l ll really embodied that role yeah. you know what i mean yeah. and um he killed that one danny Right, yeah. and but you also, man, you always maintain a way to get on these mainstream platforms, and I think it just kind of helped uh, unpigeonhole a lot of, especially African American young male uh, actors, and you open doors for folks, man. So when you came, when Resurrection came around, how did that come to uh, come to your table? Um, well, at the time, you know, I, I just finished doing House for eight years, so yeah. I took I took a break and didn't know, you know, I, I was just wanted to take a break. Yeah. Um, and then I started reading stuff that's, that was out there, and um, I probably read like 30, 40 you know, TV shows that some of them are on the air now, some of them are not. And that one, for me, just stuck out. Mm -hmm. You know, the same way House stuck out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was just, for me, it's more about the challenge. It's not like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a hit show. It's just like the, I come from a creative standpoint where I, I'm, uh, you know, connect to the material on a creative level because I feel like the story is universal. Yeah, like, yeah. It don't matter where you come from, you know, your ethnicity, all of those, your, whatever you believe in, none of that matters. Like life and death is the thing that really connects us as human beings because mm, yeah. we've all dealt with loss, you know, mm -hmm. or family members or whatever. So exploring that, that's how I connected to it, you know, on a creative level. Um, and then, you know, the rest is history. I went in there and did my thing and now we're here. Wow, man. Omar Epps has joined us. Yeah, Omar, you mentioned something about how um you read 30 to 40 scripts. Mm -hmm. Were you always this discerning with your scripts from like Jump or like earlier on where you're taking on roles that you really didn't feel you should, <laughs> but you're like, fuck it, I need a check? Nah, I never wanted to be in that position. I, I've probably done the check thing twice. And, and for me, it's like I come from a different era, like, you know, the Spike Lee era yeah. where you know seeing black faces on screen and and you know do the right thing like that whole era of film was the thing that inspired me so I wanted to be I wanted to be a part of the next wave of that you know what I'm saying in whatever way that I could now obviously when you you know when you're an actor you if you're not creating the job you got to wait on the job right. and mm -hmm. there's but so many opportunities and you put that all in the pot and stir it up it's going to be what it is. But I was fortunate to come from, you know, a time when there was a lot of black films being made, not like now. So if you're a young black actor now, you don't have as many choices. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so, but you still, at the end of the day, you know, I do this f for the love of what I do. I don't do it for a check. And, and the irony to that is like, at least for what I've seen, is when you approach it from that perspective, the checks keep coming. The checks mm -hmm. keep coming. You know, Omar Epps has joined us. Higher learning, love and basketball. Ooh, that's supposed to be love and basketball too coming through. Yeah, that was a rumor. That was a rumor. Lo oh, yeah. Yeah. That sorry, was a Tracy. Yeah, 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 that was a sorry. rumor. Sorry. Uh, it's crazy how this stuff <laughs> just takes shape and form. form. Yeah. It just runs like perception. It's, it's dangerous. Perception is almost stronger than reality. And I'm like, nah, there's no, you don't touch a classic. 
Nah, you leave that alone. Yeah. Plus, do you even communicate with Sanal anymore? Nah, we run into each other from time to time. But it was funny because two days before that happened, me and Gina Prince uh, Bly- Blywood, who wrote and directed the film, yeah. was literally just having that convo. Uh-huh. L- literally like, ah, yeah, but, you know, we shouldn't touch that. Or da, 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 if we're gonna do so- we would li- just in our own zone. And then two days later, that's all over. All over the internet. The web- and <laughs> yeah, you know, I had a problem with you omar for a brief moment and, and, and i want to i want to talk about wow. that up next you bringing that up i got to right. i gotta keep it real with oh man you got to because we That's never got homie. a chance to mash this out right so we gonna mash this out on the air for the first time ever my problem with omar epps up next uh sway in the morning trying to tell me i ain't shit i ain't trying to tell you shit i tell your mama you ain't shit damn <laughs> damn <laughs> oh, you know what's Tupac. crazy he, yeah. just hearing that Gave me chills because I could remember the energy in the room that day. I remember that. Like, it was yesterday. It's crazy. And we knew, like, we was in it. Like, me and Pac was like, yo, we we on some, it, we just was going. It was crazy. That's that's crazy, man. Yeah, just saying, yeah, I was going to ask you that, man, because it felt like y'all really didn't like each other. We, You know, when this brother's coming up, we just really put that on the table. Like, you know, you're going to have yin and yang. You mm-hmm. know, and where that you know where the, the characters were going and the situations, but all of that we was I was seventeen when I did Jews. Yeah. I was nineteen. We was kids, so it was like we was living that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. So it wasn't like a big Hollywood thing. You know, I was on the train going to the set. <laughs> <laughs> you were on the train going to the set of Juice. Yeah. And this turns out to be, if people gave their top five top movies, you know, that were hood related, if you will. But even beyond that, like Juice transcended, like uh, geographical boundaries, transcended social statuses. Yeah. Everybody watched that. You yeah. know, uh, both you guys were electrified. And that, you know, Pac at that time, man, you know, he people were fascinated by him. Um, but you held your own. Mm. What did that role do for you? You know, I mean, Pac became even more famous mm-hmm. uh, playing that role. What happened to you playing playing Q? I mean, Q was Q, and you know, I wanted to move on. You mm-hmm. know, I'm, and and Q wasn't me. Yeah. You know, I'm myself. Like I, I, I take a page out of Sidney Poitier's. Well, that's that's my acting hero is Sidney Poitier, yeah. and. He will always say, you know, the less people know about him, the more they'll buy into the characters that he sell. Uh-huh. So for me, I think obviously on, there's a piece of my soul in every character because it's me. But in terms of my makeup and who I am as a complete person, nah, they're completely different. Well, people say that Pac and, you know, ingested Bishop and Bishop, you couldn't tell the difference between the two after the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But Pac was an ill dude, man. You've yeah. been around. Like, yeah. Pac, Pac had many, many different layers, yeah. you know. But like anybody else, it was the mood, you know. We could be in that mood, but then Pac could be around a whole different type of crowd, yeah. like, you know what I mean? And I see, and the way that we herald him and, and, you know, certain moves that he was making towards the end, he kind of got pigeonholed as that guy. But Pac was very charismatic, way smarter than yeah. What he got credit for. I always like, tell people how smart he was. You Pac know? was mad smart. Or, you know? and, and young. You know, and you talk about moves, man. I've been trying to keep a good mood, <laughs> man. But Oh, God. Why are you, why are you in a bad mood? Man, you? because, you know, loving basketball, man. Um, you know, Heather B been married to Common for years. Yep. I, I was married to Sonal for years, man. And <laughs> I, you know, I just... I, and all late there, this, man. this the jailhouse sway coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Oakland sway. Yeah, like damn. Man, I just didn't like how you treated her in the movie, dog. I just wanted to say that to you, man. Face to face, like yeah, man. You kept. I felt like you just didn't respect her in the movie as, as she. How you been. didn't respect her? I mean, it was times like he used to play her off, like you know, you you know, like she was nothing, like you didn't care. Yo, they grew up together. They was kids. That was like the idyllic love story. Like, oh, they grew up together, so they kind of yeah. like brother and sister, yeah, but it's. <laughs> There and, there and you know how that is like when you know a bad shorty and y'all ain't go there but you know her yeah and then the other dudes is around you kind of like oh come on man like yeah. you know what i mean because yeah. you know her as a person yeah they kind of had that thing and then when they got of age they they went there you had a lot of girls growing up sway because he might not know that story nah sanal was my i was oh, loyal was to <laughs> sanal <Sonal. laughs> They have nobody, damn it. Nobody. <laughs> All right, look, this is what I want to do. Um, Omar Epps has joined us, man. DB is our movie junkie. Yep. Um, and we came up with a contest for Uh-oh. you. 
based on some of the roles you play. Go ahead, DP. Yeah, you know, you're on house, you're on ER, so we want to test your medical skills. Oh, God. <laughs> You've played a doctor not once, but twice on TV. So we want to know, can Omar Epps save a life? <laughs> on Sway in the Morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number one. If a person is stabbed or is impaled by a foreign object, do you remove it or leave it in? Well, impaled and stabbed are two different things. Oh. So impaled is like something's still in you, when you but stab means you put and it's out of you. So okay. when a person's impaled, I don't think you're supposed to take it out. I think they're supposed to like cut leave. the thing, leave it in and... Let's say a shard hit somebody and it's stuck in them. Nothing crazy big, but it's stuck in them. Would you take it out or leave it in? I think most people would immediately take it out. It's not what you're supposed to do. Right. Oh. You're supposed to leave it in. <laughs> exactly. <Damn>. Right. <laughs> so he, he he broke down your question yeah. and confused you. <laughs> yeah, I don't even no, know. I, said, yeah. I already <laughs> answered the question. He answered the question and he didn't want to take your answer. So nah, you're supposed he, to leave it in. You, you're right. Okay. Right. Oh, my God. You got it right. Okay, okay. Maybe look stupid said. and shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> question number two. If someone is bleeding badly and you have no medical training, do you apply a tourniquet or no? And you have no medical. I don't think you need medical training to apply a tourniquet. What's that? Well, oh. it's the technical word. It's it, it's how you put pressure on the wound to stop the to help the blood stop flowing. Tracy, didn't uh, you graduate from college? <laughs> so I didn't graduate from prim med school. Prim med school. Yeah. Prim. <laughs> well, well, get back to the you, answer. Uh, so are you saying specifically a tourniquet? Like specifically? Yeah. Would you Would you make one or no? I think you can. Yeah, you could just rip off some piece of clothing yeah. and, and apply pressure. And apply pressure. If you have no medical training, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> See, Heather? <laughs> See, well, Heather? Is, if somebody was hurt in front of me, they fucking dead. Because that's just it. That's too much. All right, give them one more. Uh, you know what it is? I think That was a technicality. Yeah, 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 yeah. Omar breaking this shit down. But too go much. Ahead. <laughs> I know, like, you're ruining the game. Like, son, come on, yeah. son. I did this medical <laughs> shit for eight years, man. All right, give them one more. Give them one all more. All right, right. If someone has an allergic reaction, what is the name of the auto-injector pen that can help save them? One, adrenaline. Two, Epinephrine or C. Epinephrine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, whatever, you know dude. What? It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you meant, sir? It's the last time I do a quiz, damn it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, dummy, stop giving quizzes. You don't hey, I didn't go to college, quizzes, all right? Okay? <laughs> all right, well, I guess Omar Epps is safe to say he can save a life, all right? Yeah. Hey, man, Omar, thanks for coming by, brother. Yo, it's, it's, it's good to be here, man. Resurrection. Resurrection. Resurrection this Sunday, Sunday, ABC at uh, 9 p.m. and 8 Central. Yeah. Yep. All right. It's and a dope show. Make sure you support that. And then, you know, in case y'all didn't know, next time Omar comes up, he's going to kick a verse for us. Oh. We, no, are, we already mm -hmm. world premiered the track. You, know. you want to talk about this song real quick? Oh, this the joint? Yeah, man. It's my brother, Cy, Pat Poos, Uh, You know. Did it for the borough, did it for the coaches, call sinners prayer. Here it is. It's Sway in the morning. Only from Shea 45.